everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Amanda. This is the second time I'm filming this video because the first time lighting was not working. It's still a little bit bright so I'm kind of like over this way versus over here where I usually am because the lighting is like that when it's like super super bright and creating lines. So I'm over this way a little bit between everything where my door is. So this little corner Hopefully it's okay. And because my bra strap was showing, it was really aggravating me. So this is a big drugstore haul. I usually, you know, I shop at the drugstore, but a lot of times I've been doing high end. So therefore I want to go do some more drugstore stuff. So I got a lot of stuff. So I went to Ulta, I went to Walmart, and I went to um, Family Dollar. So I put everything in this box. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And I will put the price either up here or one of these one of these two sides of what every how much everything costs is as we go. First we're gonna start at Ulta. We'll start with some hair. This is the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. This thickens and volumizes, cleanses gently, look has luxur luxurious shine. I can't talk today. It it's sulfate, paraben, and dye free for fine, thin hair. So it's just the purple one. I've been testing this out for probably about a week. I can't really say much. I think that it works so far, but I haven't really used it enough to really know. Because I wash my hair like every few days. So, I can't really tell. I'll let you know whenever I use it a little bit more. There's my lighting. I'm sorry, this lighting's going to fluctuate and now it's really, really dark. So, I don't know what to do. But I got this for free. This is the Red Can Triple Take 32 Extreme High Hold Hairspray because I asked the lady to go back and check a foundation to see if they had it in the back. Um, like my shade. She didn't do it and I asked when I got up to the counter and she's like, I'm so sorry, I'll do it. Like I wasn't, in, I wasn't in a rush or anything. I wasn't being impatient. So I really didn't care how long she was taking but she thought she was taking forever so she's like here here's a free hairspray just because I was taking so long I was like well that's super nice and it it smells so good but I've not actually tested it on my hair to see how it holds or anything but it smells really really good and then for makeup this is <clears throat> I'm losing my voice and then for makeup this is the new like past two months new this is the L'Oreal <clears throat> I'm really losing my voice the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation this is a radiant finish normal to dry skin hydrating foundation is it has up to 24 hours hold and then the air kicks on I'm not winning today maybe I shouldn't film this video I should you know wait <laughs> another day this is the shade 202 creamy natural so let me know if you want me to do a first impressions review on this and then I got these to try this is the ultra 3 mini sponges super blender pointed and rounded tips for concealing highlighting and contouring so this is just a three piece little mini sponge. If you've tried the Beauty Blender, you know that they come with the mini sizes or micro, I don't know what they're called. I've not tried those, they have a mini version of them. And then I didn't know that Ulta had these, but I saw them as I was checking out, you know, how they always get you there. Um, I saw these and I was like, I have to try these because I haven't tried the Beauty, Beauty Blender ones. So I gotta try these. So it just comes with a pink and orange and a black. And I've already tested up the little orange one. I really do like this for concealer. It is, you know, pretty bouncy. It is a little bit dense, um, so it's pretty bouncy, but it gets right in that corner up in there. It doesn't soak up too much product, so I really like this so far, even though I only used it today. <laughs> and then I got a few beauty tools. Um, so this is the Real Techniques Two Miracle Complexion Sponges. I've already been using one. It is, you know, pretty disgusting and nasty. <laughs> but it comes with a, if you've not ever seen them before, but it comes with a flat edge here. It's rounded all around and it comes to a point. So I use that to apply my foundation. Um, unless I just feel like using brush. But it comes with two, which I think you get, getting the two versus the one is a better deal. Because for two of them you get for like $10 and if you get one it's like 6 or $7. But I know that I like them, so I just go ahead and I get the two pack. And then to go on with the Real Techniques theme, besides the sponges, I have never used anything else from Real Techniques. I've never tried any of their other brushes till now. So I got four of them, which you can't really see. I'm struggling. I got four of them, so that's exciting. And um, I've already tested out two of these. So this first one is the blush brush, and this is just a very fluffy brush. 
I hate this packaging. <laughs> I struggle so much. But it's just a very fluffy brush. It's very soft, very fluffy. It's not, you know, tightly packed at all. It's very soft. Um, but it's got like a tapered, like a fluffy tapered end to it. So the bristles are shorter on the outside part and then they are longer on the middle part. And then I love this so much that I went out and I got a second one once I tried this the other day. So this one, it has like my bronzer all over it. So this is what I'm going to keep this one for is bronzing up my entire face. I love this for that. And of course you can use it as a blush brush. And then I got this second one just as a powder brush to powder up all over my face. And then I've already tried this one out as well. This is the setting brush. And this is what it looks like. It's just like basically a mini version of that blush brush. Except for it has a flatter end. I don't know if you could tell versus like that side. It's a little bit more flat up. But this is like kind of a domey tapered brush. Again, it has shorter ones here. Longer on the top very flat right there now I can use this as a setting underneath my eyes which is what I'm actually gonna go get a second one of these and use it as an under eye setting brush but for this I looked at it and I was like I'm gonna try highlighting with this so I actually tried it today and I absolutely love this for highlighting I definitely tried this for like nine bucks you cannot beat this as a really really good highlighting brush it just fits so perfectly right on top of your cheekbones and right here on your temple and of course on top of your nose but this is perfect for that it picks up product very well displaces it on your face so well so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a affordable very good highlighting brush and of course you can use this as a setting under eye setting brush and the last one I got is this expert face brush um, a lot of people use this as their foundation brush, which is what I'm going to use it for. So if you want me to do a first impressions with that L'Oreal foundation, I can use like a sponge on one half and then a brush on the other half and probably use this one. That's what I usually do for my foundation reviews is sponge and then a uh, brush. So I think that I'm going to test this out with that. I think that I actually might do like a get ready with me using new products type thing. <laughs> But then moving on to everything I got at Walmart, I'll start with this. This is the Jargon's Wet Skin Moisturizer. Um, it's with refreshing coconut oil. That's the scent of this one. They have it in like three other scents. I wanted to try the Argon Oil one too, but they didn't have it. So I stuck with the coconut one because who doesn't love the smell of coconuts, right? It says it locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin. So this is the one that you, once you're done showering and you still have wet skin, you supply this all over and then you dab it dry with your towel. So I thought this was interesting, that way you know you don't have to dry off, put lotion on, and it kind of has like that sticky type of feel. Um, that's the only thing I hate about moisturizing after I shower. So I tested this once, I didn't really like it does, it did leave it, but I have extremely dry skin, so it takes a lot to actually moisturize my skin. So I'm going to give this a few more tries and I'll let you know how I really like it. And then I just got some Neutrogena makeup removing cleansing towelettes, I had to get another pack. And then for skincare, technically because the wipes or skincare too. I got the new L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This comes in like three separate ones but I got two of them because the other one is a green one and it is I don't know what the name of it is but it's for people with oily skin to help you know balance out that extra oil that you get but I have no oil whatsoever so therefore I did not get that one but I got these two and this one is the Exfoliate and Refines Pores. This is the red algae one, so it's just a red clay one that has um, red bleh, has those exfoliating beads in them. For me, I have really, really dry skin, so I need something that's going to really exfoliate my face. And this doesn't really do what I want it to do. It has like a very, very gentle exfoliating. So if you have normal skin, oily skin, and you want to try this out, and you want something that's going to exfoliate this one would probably be better for you but I need something a little bit more harsh to get rid of all my dead skin because it's that bad <laughs> but you just put this all over and then you wait about 10 to 15 minutes then you move it in circular motions to really exfoliate that it just doesn't work for me but I'm gonna test it out about one to two more times and if I don't like it then I'm going to return it um slime goes for this one this is the detox and brighten this is the charcoal one so it's just a charcoal gray colored mask it's supposed to detox everything in your skin from like all the dirt and 
impurities and it's supposed to reduce the dull skin and increase luminosity. This does not do that for me. It leaves my skin looking basically the same as before I put this on. And I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, which I'm pretty positive I'm not. Um, but you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes again and then you remove it with water. I wouldn't say that it dries out my skin at all, but it doesn't leave it luminous. Not one little bit. So again, I'm going to test this out about one to two more times. And if I don't like it, I'm going to return this one as well. And I would suggest getting those at Walmart versus Ulta because I think there's like a $3 difference. Those are nine something. So they're basically $10 and those are about 12 or 13. I'm pretty sure they're $13. So you're saving two to three dollars if you get it at Walmart. And then I got three makeup products. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. This says that it wears up to 13 hours. I got the shade 125 Fair. If you want me to do a review on this, let me know. It just twists off and then it has like one of these brush tips where you squeeze it and then you just put it underneath your eye and then you blend it out. So let me know if you want a review on that. They are pretty old. So are these. But then this one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. This is a 24 hour with comfort serum. I got the shade 100 Ivory. It is a skin perfecting full coverage foundation. So it says that it's enriched with the comfort serum for instant perfect coverage that lasts all day. Sweat, heat, and humidity and transfer proof for up to 24, 25 hours. So a lot of claims and I saw some reviews um, that a lot of people with dry skin like this so I'm gonna test this out if you want me to do a first impression review let me know as well for this I've tried this before in the past but I do not remember I have one and it's extremely extremely dark but I don't remember what I've thought about it because I haven't used that in years honestly I should probably throw it away it's probably expired I thought about trying it again but it it has like an oil free and it's like says that it's a matte finish so because it says it reduces shine I have no shine so we're gonna see I want to see how this is for my dry skin because like I said I haven't used it in years I really want to know this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation I got the shade 105 in Classic Ivory so let me know if you want me to do a review on this because I have tried it before but I don't remember so technically it'd be a first impression again just let me know if you want me to do a review over this and the last few things I got I went to the dollar store to get two things I got one of them I didn't get the other it was the NYC bronzer but they only had one shade in sunny I think it was what it was but I think that's actually the only shade that um the brand has is that one um, but I was looking at it and I was like, this looks really orange. So I didn't want to get it because I didn't know if I could return it or not. I mean, it was only $3, but it looked orange and I wasn't about to, you know, try it anyways just because it was $3. It wouldn't have been much anyways if it was a waste, but if it's orange, it's not going to get used at all. But, so I just decided to pass on that and then try this because I saw Casey Holmes talk about it recently in one of her videos. And um, this is the NYC uh, city proof waterproof 24 hour eyeliner crown so this is very black it's just a pencil liner that you have to sharpen waterproof long lasting smooth application without tugging or pulling so I'm going to test this out I might do like like I said earlier I might do like I get ready using a lot of these products let me know if you'd like to see that. And then I was checking out and I saw these, but I didn't know they had these, nor have I ever heard anybody talk about them. They kind of looked intriguing and they were only a dollar. So if I don't like them and they're crap, it's not going to hurt my feelings that I only spent a dollar on them. So these are the LA Colors Dramatilash. I like the name of them. But I just got three different sets. They had four of them. The other one was like bold. And dark but it wasn't like put together well enough that I liked it I just did not it just didn't interest me at all but these three did and um, so this one is in delightful 947 it's just kind of like a wispy spiky type of lash it's just something kind of new and I it just really intrigued me but the spikes like that and then I got Dainty975. This kind of reminds me of an Ardell lash. I'll leave it up here. I can't remember the number of it. But they are just are kind of separated. But they're kind of wispy. But they're longer all over. It goes shorter to longer. But the short end isn't like really short. But they're overall really long. 
And this one reminds me so much of the Demi Wispies by Ardell, but the black on them is a little bit more black and they're a little bit more separated. But when you look at this, it just reminds me of the Demi Wispies. That was absolutely everything. I really hope this video wasn't too, too long. It was a lot of stuff. Um, let me know if you want me to do a video with them or any individual products that you'd like for me to do a video on because I'll be sure to do that. But don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.